Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 100% cold press neem oil insecticide pesticide. This is a 32 ounce sprayer. It's 32 ounces of water, one teaspoon of 100% cold press neem oil. And the reason I say that, there's two types of neem oil out on the market. And I'll go over both of those. They do different things. And a quarter teaspoon of basic dish soap, the uh, purest form you can find of dish soap. And you can see the teaspoon of neem oil right there and then soap bubbles and every time you use this whoop, you just make sure you give it a shake. I got a leak on the top of there. That will disperse the neem oil through the bottle. I'm going to spray this on my asparagus. I have um, small uh, s caterpillars on there right now and they're shearing off some of the, the fine leaves. Neem oil spray works in two ways. There's the oil part which uh, can actually, it's also a, a fungicide, fungicide. It will cover leaves. The oil will help prevent fungus from starting. That oil also smothers some soft-bodied insects. But there's also a chemical in there, in the pure pressed neem oil, that really takes care of up to 200 different uh, really harmful insects in your garden. So the first thing I'm going to do is, one, make the spray. Now, when you're spraying your garden, you want to spray early in the morning before the better insects come out. And I don't know if you can see on there, but all on these tips are caterpillars. Now the oil part of the neem oil probably won't suffocate them right away, but the other component will kill them over a couple days period. And what it does is it affects the way that they eat and feed and it'll just kill them off. So this will be a two-part video. But just, you know, I counted already, there's dozens of these caterpillars chewing on my plant. All you gotta really do is get in there. You wanna find this sprayer, and you can see, you don't need to soak it down. You just want that fine mist to cover the insects and the area you wanna protect. In a couple days, I'll show you how this turned out and talk more about neem oil. And here's another place I'm gonna use the neem oil. We had a week of humidity and rain. You can see the holes in the leaves and these, this is all insect damage. So I'm going to spray the underside of the cucumber leaves. Also going to take care of this uh, bush zucchini plant too. And we'll see how this plant does in a couple days, a couple days after uh, spraying and recovery. These are all products that you can buy and they say neem oil on there. And I'm going to do a more extensive video explaining how neem oil works. Basically there's two types. In all of these products, various prices, they say neem oil. But what they are is they're a hydrophobic extract of neem oil, which really means, here's one of them. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there. But it's a hydrophobic extract of neem oil. And it's only 0.9% in 24 ounces. What that is is they add alcohol to 100% pure neem oil. That separates the content of the neem oil. They take off the top. That top has good products in there that you really want. I really don't understand why they do that. You want to order 100% cold pressed neem oil. It'll have every benefit of these products, which is basically just the oil, and it'll have a chemical in there that's called azadiractin. It has a lot of different things in there. You can go online, you can search it. But this chemical essentially disrupts the soft body insects, spider mites, and about 200 insects. It disrupts their systems so they don't feed, they don't fly, they don't mate the, um, any kind of eggs or larvae. If they do uh, get laid on your plants, there's something wrong with them. It's a really, really effective chemical, and it's non-toxic. Neem oil's been used in India for nearly 4,000 years. So when you buy these products, neem oil extract, that's the, again, let's take a look real quick. Hydrophobic extract, neem oil, hydrophobic extract. Same thing all the way over here, same thing. This is not 100% pure cold pressed neem oil. The other thing that I would recommend getting, and the rest of the video is gonna show you the plants that I took care of, is a sprayer like this. This is about eight bucks. And it's a pump sprayer, so it's easier that when you use this, you can turn it upside down and get the undersides of your leaves. Now, the spray that I made, that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and the one I'm gonna do a video on how to make, 
These products, $14, $10, I think this was $9, all for 24 ounces. Some of it is a concentrate. This was about $9 to buy. The spray that I made, minus the cost of the bottle, cost me about a dollar to make. A lot less expensive, more effective than buying these. Here's one more use of the neem oil. You can see those yellow spots on the leaves. That's probably scale. I'm not the best with identifying what's going on with fruit trees, but this comes every year. You can also see some white powder on there. That's baking soda. So I mixed in baking soda with the neem oil. But what I'm trying to do is get rid of that scale disease. If anybody knows exactly what that is on an apple tree, I'd appreciate you dropping me a comment and letting me know. But here again is another example of the neem oil. And when I show you the updates, this will be part of it. I discovered this webbing and caterpillars on one of my fruit vines. I sprayed this down with neem oil. We'll see how that goes. And remember, neem oil doesn't work right away on the soft-bodied chewing insects. It does take up to three days. So I'll keep an eye on this, but this has been soaked down with the neem oil spray that I've been making. And we'll see how this looks in a couple of days. This is about 24 hours after the treatment with the neem oil. You can see in there, most of the caterpillars are dead. If you can see on the leaf on the far right, there's a lot of dry, dead caterpillars in there. There are some still living. You can see more around there. But overall, you know, 24 hours later, the neem oil seems to have been effective with killing out most of these caterpillars. And I just want to be clear, I wouldn't normally leave this on my fruit vine. I would have clipped out the uh, whole branch there and taken them out. But I just wanted to show you what neem oil can do. And again, neem oil takes about 30, why did I say that? <laughs> neem oil takes about 72 hours, three days, to really work and kill off chewing and soft-bodied insects. Here's my asparagus plant three days after treatment with the neem oil. Just about every caterpillar is gone that was on there. They were really, really easy to find. And I did find, it's gonna be hard to see, but two more right up there. And I would just give a second treatment today, three days later. That doesn't mean they won't die out, but a majority of the chewing insects were killed off. And I think that is due to the neem oil. And just because they all haven't died doesn't mean you wouldn't treat it again with another spray. Even when you spray with a mister, you may miss something. Or that those two caterpillars, just again, might take a little bit longer to die off. And here's another place I'm going to use the neem oil. We had a week of humidity and rain. You can see the holes in the leaves. And these, this is all insect damage. So I'm going to spray the underside of the cucumber leaves. Also going to take care of this uh, bush zucchini plant too and we'll see how this plant does in a couple days, a couple days after uh, spraying and recovery. Here are the cucumbers three days after the treatment with the neem oil. Some of the leaves obviously have damage. That's from the original chew holes from the insects, but the plant has grown. I don't see any pests on there. There aren't really any new holes developing. Any damage that was there three days ago is starting to show a little bit more, but the neem oils really seem to have controlled the uh, chewing insects and the cucumber is growing and I'm sure it's going to do quite well. This is the apple tree that I treated with the neem oil and you can see that the scale is still on there. It looks a little paler to me but I'm not going to be able to tell if this is really effective I don't think for you know a couple of weeks and really what I'm going to have to do is see if this scale spreads. I'm not most familiar with you know how apple trees are affected so if anybody knows what that pattern is, I think it's some sort of scale, I would really like to know. But I can't say the neem oil has been effective. I can't say that it's harming the plant. I just think with this type of, um, I guess, disease or insect on my plants, it's just gonna be hard to tell. I can't really tell after three days. So in conclusion, neem oil really comes in two forms. You want 100% cold pressed neem oil, like these two, um, bottles that I ordered. That has the neem oil and every compound that comes out of pressing the neem seeds. These products that I bought in the store say neem oil, that one says 70% neem oil, that's a fungicide, neem oil extract. This is a rose spray but that's also neem, neem oil. They all say hydrophobic extract of neem oil and what that means is alcohol or some other chemical was added to the neem oil 
and all the compounds were pulled out of it but the neem oil. Yes, these will work as um, fungicides, and yes, they can smother soft-bodied insects. But the 100% cold-pressed neem oil that I used in the video has the azadirachtin, which I hope I'm saying right, and other compounds that inhibit the way insects feed, breed, some even fly, but it's essentially what also helps kill them off. So you want this. You want the oil that can coat um, your leaves or your plants and stop you know, different fungus and diseases from establishing on them. You want the oil to smother soft-bodied insects, and you also want the compounds that you know, naturally inhibit the hormonal process of the insects and kill them off. So this is a long video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Sometimes longer videos, people tend to give a thumbs down. But I really wanted you to understand what you're buying. Just because it says neem oil, just because it says 70% neem oil, doesn't mean it has all the components that help fight insects in your garden. And that's what you want. You want the three, actually there's three levels. That you want the oil, you want the azadirachtin, and you also want the scent that pure neem oil has. This one actually smells like oranges. They add something to it. This one smells more like, um, sort of like garlic, onions. I'm weird. I do like the scent, actually. It smells like French onion soup to me. But you also want the scent. So you want the pure 100% cold-pressed neem oil. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog, therustedgarden.blogspot.com. And also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.